The concept of an immune silent biocompatible polymer, it essentially recognizes that the earlier generation biocompatible polymer technology used in drug delivery, drug optimization like PEG, polysarcosine, polysorbate, the polymer itself can generate an immune response in humans, meaning humans can develop an antibody response to that polymer to protect the human from that invader. Right, and so that is called uh, immunogenicity or reactogenicity to the polymer itself. Immunogenicity to the polymer itself is an off-target liability. It can affect the performance of the drug. It can take out the payload before it gets to its target, or it can create a systemic reactogenicity on its own. For example, anaphylaxis. You probably read in the mainstream media incidents of anaphylaxis associated with mRNA vaccines. And that was the scientific literature that has come out subsequent to those vaccines inoculating the world to COVID-19. They also inoculated the planet to have polyethylene glycol antibody response. And so the mRNA vaccines, because they are pegylated delivery, they use pegylated delivery technology, are boosting the already pre-existing anti-peg antibody that much of the planet already has because of the exposure to products, consumer products, non-RX products, non-drug products that have polyethylene glycol in them. So it's one of the reasons that Serena was founded and found and invented and created and designed a new polymer is because the scientists understood that PEG had this liability. So the need for a PEG alternative in drug development is becoming clear to more and more formulation scientists across multiple therapeutic areas like vaccines, gene editing, cancer, immunology, where pegylated products are present and they are the standard optimization technology in those modalities.